about a year, CBS2 has followed the progress of a crime victim. Today, we have an update on how he's doing and how he's using his improving health to motivate other people. CBS2's Jeremy Ross takes a look at his unusual path to recovery. Matt Creedon had a run-in, resulting in a remarkable story. But before he can share it, so, he'll need to warm up. I don't know if you can hear that knee clicking. Oh, like yeah. any runner, oh. he'll stretch. Just try to keep things loose. But he limbers up with laughter. People wonder why I'm so happy, because I like dance runs. I think this is from the Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh, hitting them shoulders. <laughs> He's not running from his past. His past is running with him. Screw here and a screw here. And then I broke, I think, one rib. But the breaths he took back in the fall of 2018 were nearly his last. I died for the two minutes. <coughs> I was in a medically induced coma, yeah, after I flatlined. How emotional is just even talking about this? Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty emotional, you know. Knowing that it just could be could be gone like that at any time. Last year, we first met Creedon at the hospital. He was rushed there November 8th. Everything went dark through November 10th. But I don't, I don't remember any of it. You lost two days. I lost two days, yeah. It's better than the alternative. He was working near Lombard and Roosevelt in Oak Park, helping his mom at Associated Tire and Battery when he was hit by a driver, shattering parts of his body and his short-term memory. I had to have uh, emergency open heart surgery. At this point, the only running he was doing was running up medical bills in the tens of thousands. The driver was never found. And unless there's additional information, Oak Park police say the active investigation is suspended. There's no reason I should be alive right now. I came back and, and made it. <laughs> now now hopefully I can take yeah. this, this second chance that I've, I've got <laughs> and you know, maybe make, it, make a difference in somebody's life. <laughs> We raised all of the money I needed to get to where I am now and not be a burden on my family. It's the only way I can thank everybody is, is to inspire them. I've been doing great. <laughs> like, I've lost like 45 pounds. I ran five miles the other day. Hi, dear. Dear, it's nature. I love running through here. Now this victim of a hit and run <sighs> hopes to run in the Chicago Half Marathon. And it's 13.3 uh, miles. His goal is to finish around the average time <laughs> of about two hours. And so, like, how much more inspiring could it be if we could be better than average? Considering this runner's path began with a flat line, average has never looked so exceptional. If I can be better than average after everything that I've been through, there is no reason that anybody else cannot, no matter what's in your way. Jeremy Ross, <sighs> CBS 2 News. Well, Creighton says he's forgiven the driver who hit him, and we also wish him lots of luck because he's going to be running in that half marathon Very good. tomorrow. Yes. What a what nice a story. Beautiful story, Jerry. What a nice story. There. You know, oh. I hear stories like that, and I know he nearly died. But when you hear a story about a police officer, an accident victim, or whatever, non -thre life threatening injuries we hear all the time. Right. Do you know how bad those can be? Do you know how long it can take somebody to come back from that? And how hard people mm -hmm. have to work to bring their life back to somewhat normal. Mm -hmm. And good for him. That's what great. An what an inspirational. Truly. story. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm.